Hi, Greg Flaherty here with Penny Realty. Today I want to talk to you about my top five improvements you can make to your San Diego rental income property. Okay, when you go and embark upon this venture of improvements, make sure you do not confuse things with the home that you live in. Okay, when you're talking about rental income property, you want to make sure that you don't overspend and overimprove, but spend just enough to get maximal rent and the best quality tenants you possibly can get. Okay, so here's my top five things you can do. Number one, replace or restore your flooring. Okay, uh, new floor, it's a large investment, but the payback is pretty good on it. As a matter of fact, new flooring for a rental property can be transformational. If you have old dingy carpet, get rid of it, get laminate hardwood flooring or, or just regular hardwood flooring. Okay, this will make the room look bigger, better, cleaner. Um, if you can't afford uh, new flooring and you happen to have old wooden floors, think about restoring those old wooden floors. All right, number two, upgrade your plumbing fixtures. Uh, kitchen and bath fixtures like faucets, sinks, sprayers, they get dated real quickly. As a general rule of thumb, if those are 10 years old or older, just replace them. Go for like a more refined look like oil rubbed bronze fixtures or brushed nickel. Those will give it a really good refreshed look. All right, item number three, install better countertops. The lowest quality countertops are obviously the old plastic laminate. Those aren't going to look good, they're not going to wear well, and you want to replace those. Nowadays you want to go with like granite, slab, quartz, that'll really boost the look of any kitchen or bathroom. All right, number four, replace the front door. If that front door is scratched or worn anyway, you want to replace it or repaint it. It's a first impression, and first impressions matter, okay? If you can't afford doing a whole brand new door, you can talk about replacing the, the hardware on that front door. Put in nice side panels with some glass windows in there. Okay, and then number five, add a fresh coat of paint. Okay, this is kind of classic advice. Everybody says it, but there's a reason it's classic advice. And that is it's low cost and it's highly effective. Okay, um, if you have a limited budget, just think about painting maybe the halls, the kitchens, and the bath. All right, and then make sure you do neutral tones. Don't do any pinks or purples or blues, anything funny like that. All right, so that's it. That's my top five. Thanks for listening. Greg Flaherty here at Penny Realty.